Gemini, welcome. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I'm doing your reading. I hope you're doing amazing, Gemini. Um, and uh, it is the Pisces season. So uh, this is your reading and uh, it is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, take a what resonates. If it does resonate, yeah, let me know and uh, leave a comment. Press the like button. Um, yeah, there's a donation link if you want to connect further. No specific amount needed. And uh, yeah, let's get to your reading, Gemini. I had a personal matters to attend to. So typically uh, weekends is when I do a reading. So I try to, when I do readings my way, I don't usually look at the time, you see. If I don't look at the time, I do not fit in all the readings I want to do. And I'm, then I just end, <laughs> end up, um, you know, with a lot of signs missing. But because this is my hobby and I've, I've, I have to find a balance between, um, let's say, a working schedule and a hobby. But at the same time, I was trying to please everyone. It is not easy. <laughs> so uh, I'm aiming for today uh, with the time that I have to go through a sign so that everybody has got one. But, you know, what, what I plan now, what happens, I cannot guarantee it. So, Gemini, enough of me shuffling and waffling. I'm using the Babylonian tarot deck at first. And I'm drinking my coffee, so bear with me. <laughs> so, Gemini, we have the King of Pentacles. This is someone that looks at you as, um, well, someone they want to share their wealth with. Someone that is grounded. Someone they feel that they are very, this person could have... Virgo in their chart, potentially, maybe Taurus, maybe they're born on the cusp of Taurus and Gemini. Now, uh, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. So, if you know this person, this connection have great possibilities to heal. But right now, someone is up in their head and they're spending too much time up in their head. This person is also... There's a heartache, a hidden heartache that they haven't expressed. Maybe some of you have expressed that you are, you know, you are happy to be independent or they see that you are someone that is very, very happy um, on your own. And now this person, if you don't know them, because we have the Ace of Cups, they're coming towards you. They're looking at you, seeing you glow, seeing you thrive. That's, they see you as someone that is... Um, they're fascinated with you, Gemini. They they find that you have this very fine balance uh, with, between beauty and brains. Uh, they see that you are someone that is very, very smart, but you're also someone that's very, very beautiful, handsome. Regardless of the gender, you are someone that dress well. You have great sense of fashion. Fashion could be quite important to you. Also, the way you apply your makeup, you are someone that uh, is a trendsetter. You are someone that uh, people come to for tips or advice or just are in awe of. Now, this connection could be a twin flame connection. And um, this person here, they really want things to happen between you and them. They want to take action here with the Magician and Ace of Cups, which is a good thing. This is someone that is like focusing on love they are also you have both nines in your feelings which is great because you are also two people that are happy each to your own this person might have recently ended a relationship it's possible and um, there is a, something sad that have occurred in their life as well they don't always have to be a relationship and they are moving on from the sadness and they have you in their mind. I don't feel it's you and them, but it can be for some of you. But I just don't, I'm going to clarify here. Um, this person is, uh, when they look at you, they look at you as halfway to marriage. Now, there might have been for some of you, Gemini, that there, there was a, um, if there was a kind of, um, a kind of, a, yeah, well, break up or didn't speak or it, even if it's long time ago or now, it, it, it did hurt this person. You kind of felt like, what is going on? Why did this happen? There wasn't any particular reason. The reason could be that both of you, it's like pulled away. And especially if you are two air signs, it can be that none, 
none of you showed your emotions about it and it could have just seemed that oh well let's just make a move from this union shall we and um, it is possible that this person did not open up they could have been someone that got in their head feeling that they speak to you about their emotions and about what happened but actually they didn't speak to anyone they spoke to the person in their head and um, didn't really look at themselves like they could have just been this is someone that they don't show when they are hurt they put on a brave face and they could be a little childish and turn away and pretend they are all fine with it and they could be a bit sort of they don't know when it's like they also have a part to play they could be there's a, something about an inner child trauma they could still act up when and, and there there could be an involvement around that and um, they want to fight for this connection and um, gemini so i would say um this uh this reconciliation could be back like anything um yeah with the high priestess it's uh, an unspoken action at the moment unspoken action gemini that uh, they are coming forward uh and you have been sort of um annoyed maybe or frustrated or you you're just like how long is this person going to take right my patience run out uh, this have been stalling i probably don't even like them anymore there might be someone else coming towards me and i actually right now i'm thriving on my own so you are someone that quickly move on as well you are also thriving uh, your finances uh, have uh, improved or it's something that you are very good at making uh, abundance creating abundance around you all over both health wealth money love so you are not fussed about this person at all um but there is a, a, a there is kind of a, a break a breakup um that has happened i feel for many of you um let's look into them shall we see what's happened uh around this person gemini <laughs> they could be thinking about proposing they think of marriage when they think of you if you're dealing with an aquarius or libra very often those relationships are quite tight there will be quite good reason if you split up um it could be that you and them it's something about the way you express emotions um they could have expressed a lot of emotions and then they stopped expressing emotions because something didn't go their way or they, it's, this person is tricky to understand because they get up in their head and they don't speak to they might not speak to people around them to say sort of they this person needs a friend to to level head them and say uh, especially if you're dealing with a male they might not have that whereas if you're a female sometimes you get a different advice someone needs to tell them a level-headed advice and say look because this person tend to um go into their oh, someone hurt me kind of thing. So they could tell version that isn't really quite true. So they don't get the right advice uh, as well. This person really fell in love in you and, and they are in love with you and they, a small bump in the road, they creating this catastrophe in their mind and they are sort of, no, this can't be fixed. It could be because this person have to kind of... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it's like a, uh, they, have to, they have to open up um, and be vulnerable. That's difficult for this person. And it could cause you a lot of frustration, um, Gemini. But um, you might have spoken about marriage. Um, you, you might have spoken about a lot of things. They expressed a lot of things. And just when things didn't... It's, this person is a little complicated. I, I could see that. But they mean well. Um, this person's also very creative i pick up that both of you are very creative that together actually this uh, if you spend your life together it's uh, you could create a lot that is of value as well uh, they might have virgo in their chart they might make them a little bit stubborn maybe the full moon in virgo is making this person open up a bit about their emotions see this person here gemini they do see this say they see you as this person they want to celebrate with that um making this commitment and, and tradition they're thinking of all the you know they, they're thinking of celebrations and a future with you they're thinking this is someone that want to have uh, all, all of that they, they enjoy having the you know the everyday life with you this is someone that do enjoy all the details all the you know everything comes with being a couple but they might not have told you that 
you might be the one, Gemini, that isn't so into all the couple stuff. You could be, and that might have triggered them. So you might be a little unconventional. I never get the word right. You, but it's not, doesn't mean that you don't want them to want it or tell you. You are someone that is thriving on your own. You're independent. You are someone that might have to, you know, someone really would have to express their love for you to open up and conform or want to do maybe things that are traditional where you right now could feel, why would I even discuss this? Because it's not really what is in my everyday right now. Um, so you are waiting for this person to open up and I think they did open up. You might have a Pisces in your chart, um, Gemini. Take your placements there. They see you as very beautiful, very compassionate, and, and you're very kind. You are someone that is confident. You're warm. You have um, this uh, generous personality as well. They like in them. You could be a healer. You have very strong intuition that you can follow. Now, this person can have a habit that they are hiding um a small habit they they are hiding they could be a little too obsessed with something around the material stuff when it comes to a connection um this person they have to learn to free themselves a little from that they have an idea they are fixated on then this idea could be a little bit too much they can be a little too stubborn it has something to do with the material stuff uh they this could be a stubbornness between both of you which isn't really something that is set in stone but it could seem that way yeah if, if many of you are dealing with someone could be born on the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn. But um, see, there is something they have to, um, they, they might have to hit a wall when it comes to, um, and when it comes to um, an ending, there is a betrayal in their life. Someone have betrayed them. This person could have relied on only a few friends or a few, someone that is, it's just something about them. They, they need someone that's very close to them. They could have recently been betrayed of a friend, this, this one. Now, that hurt their ego. This person, they, they, they could have, they could have Gemini um, in their chart potentially as well maybe cancer the cancer in them could make them complicated because of they could have leo sagittarius in their chart but if they have let's say aquarius with cancer virgo in their chart this person could be a little bit complicated it's something about their they could seem very headstrong, but not always easy to to get through the layers of how they, you almost have to put up a fight with them. And I think that you pulled away from the difficult, <laughs> difficult mood they can be in. They know that they have to handle. It's just something small, really. Um, yeah. Because they know that this, falls on their shoulders here, Gemini. This person knows that if they don't get their ego, they brush brush that ego away, right? Um, they can't get, like they want it all. And then they don't, their ego is like, oh, let's just don't open up that much. If you can just say, <laughs> it's just doesn't really align with everything they want. They have to, um, this is someone that have got a knock in their confidence at some point in their life. And they, for some reason, didn't get over it because they didn't heal and, and deal with it in the right manner. So that's the issue with them and, and nothing else. Um, their their love and their feelings for you are, are going very, very strong, Gemini. I'm just going to find another deck and I'm going to have some coffee. So... We will use this. Um, sorry, 
right. Hmm. Now, Gemini, you might be communicate. There's something about communication here. You two could feel like you've known each other for lifetimes to the next minute when this happened, feel like you're complete strangers. It has to do with a wound opening up and uh, both of you could have a, some kind of wound from um, a relationship situation. Your intuition again, very, very strong. You are keeping your feelings to yourself. Your way of protecting yourself could also be that you have experienced in the past as well, you have experienced that you can't trust someone. Do you feel that? No, if I open up too much. See, you have double the strength as well. You could, because you have put your guards up so high and you're very mysterious, you follow your intuition. You also mean well, but you, because you follow your intuition, you don't open up. So in the 3D, someone can't really see with the seven or ones, then you just seem, hmm, it's like you could seem, uh, it's like the spooky vibe. Not that you're a spooky Gemini, but it's it's that, I probably have that, that vibe over me because <laughs> I analyze everything. So if you look, a stranger would meet me, you probably look, you can tell that I'm reading them up and down and I'm like, okay, I don't need to, I don't need to know anything more about you now because I do know and read it in my way. So you, both of you could read this. So you could read someone by your strength, by your intuition. You don't mean to be serious, but you, it makes you, um, it's, you, you keep your guards up. And so this person, because they have an ego when it comes to love in specific, because they have been hurt, even though they have manifested you, they are open, they are, are loving, they are loyal, they had all they have also evolved. So they are ready to um to be in this connection and they're you know they they go all in, but the two of you, because of the the, the real communication could stagnant because they are not it's just the communication here when maybe you live as and it's different like a sorry in not the way you have to speak over the phone or messages and one of you aren't good with messaging or the other one doesn't like to do facetime right there's the type of communication as well so there's just some stubbornness but it has nothing to do with the feelings i think you have though kept your guards up here at gemini and you might have just said nah if they want this they better show it. I don't see it. I don't hear it. So therefore, I don't really, I have to, I can't, this person don't click with me. So it is possible, Gemini, that you, if you're dealing with a fire sign, you could have written them off. If you're dealing with the Leo, it's it's like you're like, no, I can't. My intuition is telling me to go. I write them off. It's something like that uh, here. You're writing them off. Because you're writing them off, this could be that they are going through this heartache, this ten of swords, this, uh, oh, my world's falling apart. You are sending them these signals. And again, um, so so it is because if they come forward in their ego, especially if there's been a third party situation, of course, you, you keep your guards up. So I don't really see in this situation, it's not really about you doing anything um, unusual or something that behavior you shouldn't do it's kind of based on the way they have been treating you the way they have come across as wearing a mask as well and and, and you're on a distance so it's like nothing to work with here except that you have possibility to heal this connection because it is very much of a spiritual and, and strong bond that you do share so um couple of more messages you are you definitely are very very headstrong um a gemini and you are focused on your goals you are also you you are moving into this queen of wands character where again now you you're in your routine you're looking good feeling good you are you know you'll you feel great when you wake up in the morning you, you feel that you have a spring in your step and if this person in the past have caused you to stress you also are defending yourself and avoiding that at all, all cost, I see. But it's, you two still very much think about each other and this person here, 
they are going to make an attempt to come forward but then it's going to see here with a ten of swords at five of cups there is someone here if you're dealing with aquarius gemini cusp there's something about them coming towards you but then they suddenly yeah they suddenly stop uh they they suddenly do not open up because see this person is well you have evolved a lot so this person is struggling something to do with this the the maybe they don't look as good they feel they don't look as good they feel that oh when i was this person could be someone that oh when i looked a certain age i was much better looking they see you uh looking your best they see you um not changing not um not uh you know fading at all you are the opposite gemini uh, you are someone that's blooming and it's scaring this person so their ego goes like oh well this is why i probably should stay in a third party situation or you know stay where i was because there, there is also them uh, for some of you they did based on their ego and materialistic agreed they had a loss of this union when it is you that is abundant this person here decided not to take any action as well because again they got something in their head and they're like nah 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 okay yeah nah see this person has a lack of social interaction in their life they could spend a lot of time alone meaning not completely alone there could be a lot of people around them but the same kind of people so they are not really evolving maybe it's like they could be traveling and so on and so on and so on but they're not really training themselves to adapt to different environments uh, so they could be quite sort of like it's like they could be a bit gossipy so they are like oh if so, something doesn't go their way they find an excuse and when they listen to themselves it sounds silly um, as well they know it's they know that they it's almost like they want a connection to like fall apart because that's just it's something that is going, this person needs to really put that aside, but they, yeah, I see this, per, this person could be someone that they've been married to as well, as trying to hold on to them. Yeah, it's, um, I just saw 07, 07 uh, on the clock here as well, because I see... What I see here is two people like with love, they love each other, but also uh, this person here is, uh, they are deluded when it comes to expressing love. They are deluded what they have to do. They, it's like this union is so pure so divine which is the meaning of uh short meaning of 0707 so pure and so divine so but their wounds according to this union how it's opening up they're like made them run run the other way and you have evolved tremendously which is what you do especially when you're dealing with the twin flame union but this person they It's something about they almost like that they predicted that you will hurt them eventually. If they if, if they open up, you will hurt them. And that's they have a certain set of rules in their mind, how ticking boxes what they should follow. And if they that's not that, even even if there isn't any specific rules for <laughs> any situation, right? It, it's that's rules we create ourselves. I think everyone when it comes to love, there's rules. Right, one person might think, oh, well, if you're female, you do not text someone. You don't do the, the work, male, masculine, I have to do it, you know, regardless of gender. You know, everyone actually has different set of rules in their head. They do follow, and many of the rules, if you think of it, it's coming from an ancient time. So you could be a bit more modern, a bit more outgoing so you could have tolerated a lot of this person's narrow-minded thinking and they are attracted to you but at the same time they could have been talking how like they are really open-minded and how confident they are but they are not they are not so anything else there for gemini 
Yeah. They will eventually here come towards you. Now, it's something about materialistic, they need someone to collaborate. This person, their actually fault as well could be that they are dependent on someone's collaboration financially. Why is the devil and the four of cups? So therefore, this, yeah, if you're dealing with, again, I have very strong Aquarius and Capricorn or Cusp, also Aries. This is someone that is very stubborn when it comes to a situation. They could have Leo in their chart, a situation around their financial situation. And this is actually causing this grief over and over and over. Yeah. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there is an ending happening for them. I mean, with them. A divorce, a legal matter. See, if they don't, like I, I see someone here, Gemini. I, I mean, in the beginning, I see this person's intentions to come forward. But now I see this person might screw this up. Well, very likely screw this up. Especially if you're dealing again with a Capricorn um, Aquarius. Because this person here, they could have Sagittarius in their chart. Their ego takes over. And when their ego takes over, they go, they run they run the wrong way. I see you, Gemini. You might hear also be saying, oh, thanks God I didn't open up. Or it's something about you, your intuition is going to give you the signals and you're like, okay, I'm glad I didn't do that for me. There is an ending with someone. Someone could be going also dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, yeah, someone could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aries. And they have to go through this very difficult ending. Yeah, it's something that they're making a very, very difficult. Yeah, this could be a female. Someone that, okay, a Scorpio or Aries. They could have Aries in their chart. Karmic connection here if they don't get away from this and they stay in this connection for the materialistic purposes not the right reasons there will be someone i was going to use the word take them to the cleaners basically they will take them to the cleaners because someone here have a strong intuition they know they have feelings for you they also know they're staying with them for the financial side uh, there is also a very toxic um, union here. So they could party a lot. There is just something about excess. This person will, again, uh, make this person suffer. The, if, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius uh, or Leo, again, or Capricorn, there's going to be a very bitter ending. And you are the one that's going to look back and, see, and say, whew, you had so many opportunities to come forward to me, but now I'm afraid I don't have the same feelings for you anymore. So if, yeah, for, for many of you, Gemini, it's um, the time have, 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 sorry, has come for you to release yourself from this person. It looks like, uh, Gemini, that you will see this person in a different light and they had such a it was such a close call for them but this is someone that when they self-sabotage like things really really go badly for them some could be born year of the rabbit we also shifted from year of the rabbit to the year of the dragon year of the dog year of the dog year of the rabbit so it could be a year of the dog that could be libra and, and, and rabbit is, is Pisces, you have the rooster, Virgo, you have the dragon, Taurus, you have the ox, uh, Capricorn. So dragon, ox, and, and rooster is a very good combination. Uh, rabbit and, and, and there you have the dog is a good combination. But it's someone here that there is something that goes wrong in this person's life. It has to do with an addiction, habit, greed 
trusting the wrong person, not for, because they don't open up, they lose a lot. So it looks like you, a Gemini, is uh, going to be very satisfied and, and, and you're going to create you're going to create something magical uh, that will be known. You could be famous for it. You could give you a lot of joy. You are going to replace this person with something that is lifelong passion of yours. Um, you will also feel that you had a lucky break almost from this person. I see that you look at this person and think, oh my God, how could you, um, how could you not um, make the right decision? How could you still stay in that situation? They really had things handed to them on a plate. Uh, you could also see that someone is fooling them here. So yeah, it looks like, yeah, they, there is someone, because I couldn't even see that in the beginning of the, the reading. So it's someone here that is pulling their strings, even though it seems... It's the other way around. It's it's that's an illusion I'm seeing. Gemini, please uh, check out our signs in your chart and uh, please like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, I will see you very soon. Take care.